for the heavyweight champion of the world in the UFC to be getting paid what he was getting paid was atrocious. As a carbon-based life form living on planet Earth, there are just some natural phenomena you can rely on happening regularly and for the full duration of your lifespan. Rain, sunsets, sunrises, and of course, UFC fighters being chronically underpaid. It's a horrible thing. I mean, there they are putting their lives on the line for our entertainment and not even getting compensated fairly for it. But what if I were to tell you that there is an upside? You might call me delusional, a jerk, an asshole, insensitive, but just hear me out. The reason why the UFC is able to pay their fighters so little and stay operating is because the UFC is just about a monopoly. There's no real competition for them out there. They are the premier MMA organization in the world. All of the best, brightest, and most popular fighters are under their umbrella. There are no additional promoters or promotional companies to muddy things up for them, so they get to dictate exactly what they pay their fighters with no issue. Unlike the sport of boxing that constantly pits several different networks, promotional companies, and events against each other, the UFC operates more like a pro wrestling company. Similar to companies like the WWE, the UFC does not market fights, but rather the events. Nobody ever says that they're gonna watch one specific fight when referring to watching the UFC like they would with boxing. For instance, how many times have you heard your friends say, hey, I'm gonna watch the Mayweather fight this Saturday, or I'm gonna watch Canelo fight. With the UFC, people just say, I'm gonna watch the UFC this weekend. And if somebody asks to elaborate, you say, well, the main event is this, but the co-main is awesome too, and there's a bunch of other fights I wanna see. It's not unusual to have three title fights in one pay-per-view, for instance. So what's the point of explaining all of this? Well, as I already mentioned, due to the way the UFC is structured within the context of the sport of mixed martial arts, it's able to routinely underpay its fighters, but it's also able to do one more really, really, really good thing. Put on the fights that people actually want to see when the people actually want to see them. In boxing, it takes years upon exhausting years for people to see the fights they actually want to see due to the amount of different people involved in making said fights. The promotional companies, the promoters, the networks, the fighters themselves. I mean, it's on bearable. Think of all the amazing fights we're missing out on right now. Javante Davis versus Vasil Lomachenko, Terence Crawford versus Errol Spence, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. If these guys were part of the UFC, these fights would have been made years ago. And in the rare instances that these fights do end up happening, they're years too late. Mayweather and Pacquiao, perfect example. Nobody really wanted to see it when it actually happened. People wanted to see it back in 2007 when Pacquiao was on top and so was Mayweather. Vasil Lomachenko and Javante Davis, that fight is done. Nobody wants to see a 35, 36, 37 year old Lomachenko fight Davis. They wanted to see it when he was 29. Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, again heading in that same direction. Terence Crawford is getting deep into his 30s. And consider this if the UFC was ran like boxing, we never would have gotten fights such as Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz, or Peter Jan versus Sean O'Malley, or John Jones versus DC1 would probably just be happening now when they're both out of their prime. So yeah, to get to the main point of this video, the UFC fighters are chronically underpaid and that should change as soon as possible. But we also get to see the fights that we actually want to see when we want to see them. It's a double-edged sword. And what inspired me to make this video initially is the talks between Terence Crawford and Errol Spence falling through. What the fuck? We waited for this shit for years and now they can't even make the fight. Ridiculous. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, like, dislike depending on how you feel subscribe unsubscribe same concept applies just show me a little bit of engagement it's good for the algorithm let's help this channel grow together and i'll see you guys soon